At Bumper to Bumper Radio, we're here to help you with your car. Maybe you've got a question about a problem you're having. If there's that funny light on the dash or somebody said you need to fix your whatever valve or something or other. Maybe you're going to buy a new car. Whatever it is, let's talk about it. You can join the show by giving us a call at 602-277-5827. It's 602 602- 277 KTAR and our texting is working again at 411923 so if you're a little shy you can text but uh, you shouldn't be shy don't worry about it on the roadmap today we are going to have an email of the week of course always open phones and there's a part on your car that you've really got to take care of and and uh you don't always know about it. There's a lot of different uh, opinions about when to take care of it. And what do we do, Dave? What's that part that everybody is always asking about? It's the one that's cooking in the back of your mind right now. It's the timing belt. Most of us have one. Some of us don't, but we wish we had one, or we're glad we're not, but we're really not sure. And everybody wants to sell you one when you go to the auto shop. So timing belt, do I need one? Are you nervous? Are you knowing you ignoring the timing belt? And you got to do something about it. You think you got to do something about it, but you know, it's a lot of money to get those fixed. So, what the heck is a timing belt? A timing belt is a major component in your car, in your engine. It's not easily accessible, so they can be expensive to replace. But what it does at the bottom of your engine is the crankshaft. That's where the rotation is happening that drives the tires. It goes to the transmission and then the tires. That's rotating, but there's a belt that connects to that crankshaft that goes all the way up to the top of the engine where it turns camshafts, which control the valves in the engine. And those things all have to be in perfect Synchronicity, synchronization, synchronization, is what I would say. like I don't the know. yeah, right. They've got to be perfect. Isn't that a bank? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it could be. So, like, when that timing belt fails or breaks or skips a tooth, you know, these are on. It, it runs on gears. It's a belt instead of being smooth. It has teeth on it, and it keeps all those things in synchronization. And if it breaks or it breaks off a tooth or it skips a tooth. It's kind of like a stoplight that has green in both directions. <laughs> things collide. It's not good. And that's where it gets really expensive. So it's one of those things you don't want to ignore. And it's one of those things that you can't see in most cases without disassembly of the engine. So you tell people, hey, check out my timing belt. Well, they really can't see much of it. They can maybe peer in through a little cover. But, you know, it's one of those things we just replace based off, in a lot of cases, Time and mileage. Yeah, but let's back up for one second, though. So the, the the timing belt is keeping everything timed, really synchronized or timed, and not only it's so it's like you said, turning, driven by the crankshaft, rotates the camshafts. But there's also some other things that the timing belt is responsible for. On some cars, there or in, in most cars that have a timing belt, they're turning the water pump. They might turn a balance shaft or or something like that. There might even be a balance shaft belt, but that's a small percentage of cars. Some might turn the oil pump. So when you go to the shop and you want to have that serviced, it's not just the timing belt that we're replacing. We've got to look at this as an entire system because the labor to access that timing belt is a lot. I mean, in some cars. I mean, some cars it's a two and a half hour job. Some cars it's it's an eight hour job. You're pulling the whole bumper off, the radiator out. I can think of an Audi that's like that, or several Audis, several cars. So it scares the customer if they come by and they see their car <clears throat> being worked on, and the whole front end is missing from the car. Like, that's all for just a belt? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about some of those other components that are driven by the timing belt and you mentioned the water pump is one there's also things in there that are guides and it, there's going to be idlers and those are guides and you said hey a 10 speed bike picture your 10 speed bike and the derailleur on the back well there's you know little, little, little pulleys in the system that guide that chain around the sprockets to make it work well you've got the same thing so you've got you've got these pulleys and then you also have a tensioner or tensioners and some cars have multiple timing belts yeah. But there's a lot of things that go on there. <clears throat> so if the belt fails, well, we have a t- we we could have a catastrophe in the engine and major engine problems. We have that situation where all the lights are green at uh, <laughs> at the stoplight of a major intersection. Thomas, yeah. <laughs> so we don't want that. And so we've got all these components. And why would you do a water pump instead of just the time? You know, it, 
in addition to the timing belt? Well, because if that water pump fails, and they have a life cycle, so we see water pumps last 100,000 miles, sometimes 130,000 miles, but the new timing belt will outlast that water pump that that is there already. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do it all. It's all right there. Let's do it all together. It, it's economies of scale is what I would call it, taking advantage of that labor. Uh, you know, you're already there. In most cases, let's just pick a Honda four-cylinder, for example, or a Honda V6 even. Once you've got it all taken apart to take the timing belt off, there's seven or eight more bolts that hold a $150 water pump on. And that don't hold me to the fire on the price. I'm just round numbers. So why wouldn't you take that water pump off? Because like you said, Dave, it's pretty much got its useful life. Honda time belt, 105,000 miles is when it's due. We know, like you said, that belt's going to outlive the water pump. When we replace it. So the new belt is going to go to 210,000 miles, and that water pump is never going to go to 210,000 right. miles. It's going to go out at 150,000 miles. And at 105,000 miles, you probably need a cooling system service or flush anyway. So we kind of wrap all that in. The water pump comes off. We're going to drain the coolant out, new water pump flush it out, maybe throw on a new radiator cap. Same time, what else goes with it? So you got the idlers and the tensioners, and literally there's parts companies that sell us a complete kit. And so we talked about Honda, so we'll use that. So there's a, there's a maker that sells us a kit that has the belt, has the water pump, has a tensioner, has the idler, and it also has the seals. There's camshaft seals, balance shaft seals, uh, crankshaft seals. So when you're there, hey, we're just going in there doing it once. We don't want to pay for it the first time. We certainly don't want to pay for it the second time. So let's just make it a, a whole repair. And this is where some of the scamming I see in our business comes because it is a good repair job for for an auto shop. It's 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 a job that we feel good about. But a lot of people will sell a timing belt or price a timing belt on the phone a la carte. And you go, yeah, we got time. And they even run a coupon for it. We got timing belts for three ninety five. dollars Yeah. Well, let me back up one more time. The other advantage, I, I'm going to run it backwards on you, Dave. <laughs> I'm going to do it. We're going to fart. We, Dave and I are going to fight a little bit today. <laughs> we're, we're both pretty feisty. I'm a little hyperactive today and stuff. But the other thing, and I know at my shop at Virginia Auto Service, we, we, when we do use, use the timing belt component kit and we buy it all together, instead of giving our normal 24-month, 24, 24,000-mile warranty, that company stands behind that and says, you know what, guys? If you replace the entire system with our package, we will warranty that for the factory life cycle. So if your life cycle is 105,000 miles, if we install that whole kit together, Instead of having a two-year, 24,000-mile warranty, now you've got the same thing brand new. The, the manufacturers are confident in that when you do it as a kit, it's going to last forever again. So I'm thinking as a consumer, I'm thinking right now, I'm driving down the road, do I have a timing belt? Do I have a timing belt in my car? Do I need to get it changed? And, you know, I know it's kind of maybe an expensive repair, but I got this coupon for 395 bucks. Should I just go get that done, the $395 coupon? Mm-hmm. And this is something I call the two-step selling process, which I hate in my business. Uh, or Not in my business, but in our industry, I, you know, where they say, oh, yeah, it's 395 We do them all day long. And they take it apart, and they go, oh, man, you know, we're looking at your water pump. You should probably change that. It's looking a little peaked, you know. And we're also looking at some of these tensioners and other stuff. So you end up getting a $1,200 timing belt repair, which should have been the price in the first place. It's just agonizing because you picked that shop. And now that your car's taken apart, they don't have to be cost competitive on that water pump and cost competitive on those tensioners and idlers and all those other little pieces that go on. It's a little bit of what I call the bait and switch or the two-step selling it, process. It's dirty. It, it's 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 scammy, but that's something that something that goes on every day. Where hey, you know, once you get a part, we'll call them back and add add the rest. And I, I hate that. Yeah, and you know, Dave, we talked about too. You said you have to take care of this in the beginning. If you've got a time belt, they need maintenance. You can ignore that and neglect that and have real problems. But I'm going to tell you something else. You can also waste your money by over maintaining that timing belt. There's places. That and I'm again. I'm gonna say Honda. Uh, a Honda. We're gonna pick a V6 Honda or Acura. If you look in the manual, it says severe service if the temperature is constantly over 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 105 or something in that realm. Well, that's us for like four months of the year. So what we see people doing is they're overselling that time out. They're saying, oh, you, it's severe maintenance. You got to do it at 60,000. Read the manual, see what it says, and have a good conversation with your shop. It all goes back to having the relationship. 
but it's a waste to do it at 60,000. Let's do it at 105 when it's prescribed and don't get caught up in the severe service. You do have to on fluids and some other things, but have that conversation and ask what else would you do besides just the timing belt? 